Welcome to the channel, I'm the Scottish Astrologer and in this video I will be talking about how you incorporate both the moon cycles and the zodiac constellations into agriculture, which has been used for a long time now, especially through what is known as biodynamic agriculture. Now, I used to only know about growing with the moon cycles, but I was recently pointed in the direction of something again called biodynamic agriculture by someone who left a comment on one of my videos called Julian G, so thank you Julian G for that, as it is truly great information. And information that makes perfect sense and helps to complete the method of growing with the moon, which I always felt, even though it does indeed work, there was extra information that worked together with the method that takes into consideration growing different varieties of fruit, vegetables, etc. And now the methods used in biodynamic agriculture does indeed give you that extra information which helps you grow a very productive farm or garden indeed. Now before I get into the methods used here, First, let me talk a little bit about biodynamic agriculture. So, biodynamic agriculture is a form of agriculture which incorporates esoteric knowledge, namely astrology. And if you haven't already heard of this form of agriculture, I highly recommend that you look into it for yourself as it's so interesting. And again, information will help you get the most out of your garden. It is just like organic agriculture, okay? But also, again, includes various esoteric concepts. And the concept of biodynamic agriculture itself apparently originated from a legend called Rudolf Steiner. And biodynamic agriculture was developed in 1924, one year before Rudolf Steiner's death, and was the first of the organic agriculture movements. Now, let me get into the methods involving the moon and the zodiac for getting the best from your different individual plants. So I think most of you will know about growing with the moon which works like this. Much of the upward growth of plants happens when the moon is in its waxing cycle, so increasing in light from a new moon to full moon. This again is related to upward plant growth, the germination of seeds, production of leaves and flowers all occur more rapidly and prominently when the moon, when of course the moon is in her waxing phase. And now when the moon is in her waning phase, so the phase moving from a full moon to new moon, so reducing in light, this phase is when most downward growth occurs, such as root production and establishing plants. Now the metabolic rate of plants their absorption of water and nutrients, their rate of growth and their electrical activity have all been observed and monitored over the course of the moon cycle to of course make this information known. It's been well tested. And so, no matter what kind of plant, you should always make sure its beginning stages of growth happen within the waxing period of the moon and according to this, you should sow the seeds around 40 hours before the new moon actually occurs for the best possible results. But depending on the type of plant, divided into four different categories as so, the root, the leaf, the flower and the fruit and seed categories. Now, depending on which category the species of plant which you are going to grow falls into, there are different astrological or astronomical moments on top of the moon cycle which shows when is the best to sow for that particular species of plant. And this works like this. 
first you need to determine which category the plant which you're growing falls into. For example, root plants are classified because the main crop is with the root of the plant. For example, potatoes, carrots and onions would be considered root plants. Next, lettuce would be a leaf plant. So I'd fall into the leaf plant category for the same reason as the crop, main crop is in the leaf. Now, flower plants are things like broccoli, for instance, and your fruit and seed plants are things like peppers, tomatoes, etc. And now each of these four categories of plants corresponds to a particular element. Now, earth, of course, being related to the earth plants and leaf belonging to the water element. OK, so leaf plants element is water. Flower plants, they belong to the air element. And lastly, fruit and seed belong to the fire element. And as most of you will already be aware of, the zodiac symbols are split into four elemental categories containing three zodiac signs in each. These are known as the earth, water, air and fire triplicities. Now the earth triplicity consists of the zodiac signs of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. The water triplicity consists of Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. The air consists of Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And last but not least, the fire triplicity consists of the zodiac signs of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. And so depending on your plant type, either earth, leaf, flower or fruit slash seed, for the absolute best results, and to use this esoteric wisdom to its fullest, try and sow your seeds when the moon is waxing or about to wax. Again, 48 hours before new moon. And also when the moon is in the appropriate zodiac sign, which represents the plant type. So for example, potatoes, if you're doing potatoes, you want to try for the best possible results. Again, if possible, when the moon is in an earth sign and about to wax or waxing again. And for lettuce, you want to do that. You want to sow them when the moon is waxing in a water sign. For broccoli or any other flower plants, when the moon is waxing or about to wax again in an air sign. And last and again, certainly not least, if you're growing fruit slash seed plants, category plants, such as tomatoes, then when the moon is waxing or just before waxing, again 48 hours before if possible, and also when she is in a fire sign. So this is how it works, this method, along with the moon cycle. And again, it won't always be possible to do it on the most ideal time, weather, for instance, something else extra may stop you from actually doing this but if you are able to achieve it this is the ideal time and you'll get the best possible results if you do do it then and so there you have it this is how to grow crops with the moon and the zodiac constellations i think that's all for this video a huge thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button until next time take care